You guys, I'm going to slice up these chicken patties that I took out of the freezer yesterday and I'm going to marinate them in these seasonings. I've got crushed red pepper, salt, garlic pepper seasoning, onion powder, um, badia complete, paprika, and oregano. So I'm going to slice this up real quick and get this in this little bowl and then I'm going to let it marinate until I'm ready to come home and make my chicken tacos is what I'm planning on making. I've got some frozen veggies that I took out and I'm going to let those defrost in the refrigerator while I go run a few errands and by the time I get back I should be able to go ahead and cook my dinner because that's what I have a taste for, some chicken tacos. So, yeah, I'm going to be quiet and just let you guys watch how I prepare this. I hope you guys can see this. My tripod is not doing well, so I don't know. I got all kinds of tools. Y'all know I hate touching chicken, <laughs> so I got these gloves on because... You know, I'm just cooking this for me. I hate touching chicken. So I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Uh, I had to switch tripods because that one was not allowing me to show you guys what I'm doing here. It's real simple. You just want to season your meat up. Put a little olive oil in here when I'm done. After I get it all chopped up. See, I just cut the patties in half, and then I just start slicing. And if they're too long, you can just cut them in half again, because I'm just going to probably stir fry these with the frozen veggies that I have, and make a little sauce, and put them in my little tacos. That's going to be my dinner, but I'm tasting them, y'all. I'm tasting them. You ever get a taste for something? I don't want nothing store brought. I want to make my own food. It happens like that sometimes. Okay, got one more chicken patty. This is a big one. Which reminds me I have to go get another bag because I've been sharing with my with my sister, so I gave her my last bag that I had purchased. everyone's doing well today. It's a beautiful day out today at Rain Cats and Dogs all night long. Kept waking me up. But it is an absolutely beautiful day in the high 70s today. So it is really, really nice. Like I said, I'm getting ready to go out and run some errands real quick. And then hopefully I'll be back in here soon because I got so much work here to do around the house. I need to get back into the groove of it. I started my decluttering last week and I've gotten away from it, so I need to get back to it. Okay, so here's the frozen veggies that I took out of the freezer. And I just put them in one of my little Dollar Tree containers and they're going to go in the refrigerator. The first thing we're going to start with is a little bit of salt. I know we don't need a lot of salt, but we need salt. We don't need a lot, but we need salt. Okay, that's just all it is to it. It's in the Bible. We need salt, okay. Then I got a little garlic pepper. Okay, love this stuff. I like the name brand better, but this is the Dollar Tree one right now, so we're just gonna go with that. Love garlic, love pepper. Then we got some Dollar Tree onion powder. And I had to open this up and take a butter knife and go in here and clump and unclump that garlic powder, I mean that onion powder. I don't know what the deal is, why it keeps clumping up. And then I have this Badia Complete, which I absolutely love, which you can get at the Dollar Tree. 
and I think maybe some of these spices need to be moved over to the pantry because maybe the heat from the stove or the oven might be causing the condensation and then they clump up from there. I'm not really sure. I have to experiment with that. And we've got, of course, some paprika, 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 and make some color to that. And we have some oregano, oregano. Okay, and we're gonna get some of that in there. You can use parsley, oregano, rosemary, whatever you like. Some people put cumin in this, which I do have some cumin. I might see if I can find it. Let me see. I don't want to touch anything with these gloves because they already touched the chicken. So we're going to just omit that. And I got a little bit of crushed red pepper. Okay. Just gingerly sprinkle a little of that in. Not too much. Yeah, I'm a lightweight. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil in here. Which I keep my olive oil in one of my little Dollar Tree cuties. But you got to be careful because sometimes that top will try to come off. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little olive oil in here. And we're going to marinate that. We're going to moisten that up and marinate that for as long as it is takes me to go run my errands and come back. Happy Thursday to everyone. I hope you guys are having a good day. We're getting closer and closer to the weekend. Yay! Every day is a weekend for me now, so. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. It looks like it could use some more seasoning, so <sighs> I'm going to wait until I cook it. I might put a little bit more um, paprika in here because I like that color. If I can open it, I'm going to have to wash these off because, yeah, my gloves have chicken poo poo on them, so I'm gonna have to wash these bottles off. So that's okay, no worries. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that. I'm probably gonna add this. No, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator. I'm gonna come back. I'll show you guys how I make this chicken with my veggies tacos. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, my sweets, I'm so ready to eat. I've got my tortillas from the Dollar Tree heated up in the microwave. I've got my little taco thing right there on my plate. Here's the chicken, sauteed chicken with onions and peppers. Oh my God, you guys, y'all could just smell that. Oh, yummers. I cut up some lettuce, some tomato. I mixed some mild cheddar with some pizza blend cheese together. I've got my sour cream and my old El Paso taco sauce, the mild. Um, I dropped this and the top broke off, so I usually have a plastic bag over top of that. But I'm going to assemble these tacos and come back and show you how they look, and then I'm diving in. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm not really sure how this is going to come out, you guys, because these things are big. But I used three um, tortilla shells, 
one of each and then I cut one in half just to reinforce the bottom so everything doesn't just, you know, go right through. And I'm gonna try to add my mixture to this. Ooh, I'm so hungry, y'all. Look at that. Oh my God, it smells so darling. I'll put just enough taco sauce in there, taco seasoning, just to season it perfectly. Okay, we've got this one. And we've got this one. So I put that half one in there because I knew it was going to be nice and juicy. And I got to put a bib on to wear this because this stuff will be all over me. See how the juice is flowing out of there already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just the way I like it, y'all. Mm-hmm. That's just the way I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to put that over here and keep it warm. And I'm going to assemble these and I'll be right back. Okay, my sweet, my tacos are all ready. I'm ready to dig in. I am so glad that God prompted me to check my sour cream over the sink instead of on my tacos. Because yes, the sour cream had um, soured. It expired August 30th. And I wasn't sure if it was still good, so I tried it over the sink, and honey, it was all curdled milk. So thank you, Lord, for not letting me ruin my tacos. But I hope you guys enjoy watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J, coming back at you. I'm getting ready to go in, y'all. That chicken is so tender. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.